Hey, what's up everybody? It's Kit back again today for another video and today I thought I would add in another camera tutorial. My previous video on this topic was about FPS and I feel like today what we should talk about is white balance. Now the first thing that probably should be explained to you guys is exactly what white balance is. Well, it does involve the color white. In fact, whatever you have in the shot, it's trying to set whatever is white in the picture to actually be white because sometimes you could have these certain settings to where something that's white could look a bit too blue or maybe a bit too orangish flat, like kind of tan sort of and that's really what you want to try to avoid you would really just want to have what's white to stay white unless you're going for a certain mood say for during a summer video if I wanted to have everything with a bit of a warmer temperature I'd go orange Maybe a bit more moody, I would have more of a bluish kind of filter on, but for general shoots, you really want to have that white balance fixated. And I guess even if you apply those sort of filters, then you still want the white balance to be correct. That way your filters are kind of exposed in the way that they should be and present the proper colors within that filter itself. So. A lot of cameras have auto white balance and then you can either set it manually, uh, excuse my phone, um, sometimes I'll film auto white balance, it depends on the situation. Say for example, if I was out on a day of vlogging, I would probably most likely keep the camera in auto white balance just because with a lot of running gun shooting, I don't want to take the time to keep adjusting my settings and with just a bunch of unplanned shots throughout my day of filming myself. I'd rather just have the camera do that for me. That way I can keep filming and not have to slow myself down. However, if I'm not doing a vlog, it's more of a planned shoot with certain shots that I know I wanna get, definitely gonna keep that in manual uh, adjustment just because I can get the result that I'm looking for and it looks the way that I want it to. So I think for now what I'm gonna do is run through a few examples. I'll show you kind of what auto does and then I'll take you through what a manual exposure of white balance would be. And I think for this example, I'm not gonna color grade these white balance clips just so you can get the full effect of what the differences are. So I feel like let's go uh, take a look at these clips. Okay, and let's take a look at a few of the clips here. These first few I just decided to shoot around my house. And here, uh, in this first shot, I was using the auto white balance. So, as you can see, uh, the building does actually look pretty good. It's a pretty solid white, however, it's not to the exact specifications that I think I would want. I think, especially the brick building on the right, I feel like it would need to be a bit less vibrant and the, the white building on the left to be a bit more cool. So if we take a look at my uh, manual white balance here, uh, the front of the building accidentally had a bit overexposed but the building on the brick building definitely does look a bit more mellowed out and not so bright orange and the shading on the side of the white building on the right does look better in my opinion. Um, and if we go back through this one more time, the cars have a really nice balance, especially that truck right there as it's passing by. And on to the next clip. This is just a totally random clip of a dumpster that's near my house, but I was using the auto white balance here and as you can see it actually did a pretty good job of replicating those those white colors very well and last but not least I filmed some of the trees around my neighborhood and let's see I like the colors of the greens here um, however let me fix this building's exposure I added a pretty overexposed so I got lowered it. So even when you don't have white in the picture you can still adjust your white bounce to make the other colors look the way you want them to and I love the way that sun flare comes in right there. I think that looks pretty sick and the, those leaves are a nice vibrant green color It kind of pulls everything together. Alright and so those are all the clips that I collected and hopefully you seeing those help kind of explain to you kind of what the white balance is and how it's just how white is projected in your pictures. 
and all that good stuff. Uh, if this is helpful for you or if you just enjoyed it in general, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. It really helps me out a lot and they're always greatly appreciated. Hopefully I have some vlogs coming soon for you guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.